once a form's been filled in, you get a little message showing normally that's the confirmation that it's been completed. So the standard way this is set up in the confirmation settings is that it says, thank you for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. So we can leave that as is and it will work perfectly fine. So when they fill in the form, that form will disappear and it will show this message which is a, like a standard thank you. And we could put something else in here if we wanted to, um, you know, call us if you need urgent assistance or whatever. Okay, and that will be sub that that shows up on the page instead of the form once the form's been submitted. The other options we've got for a confirmation are to send them to a page, and this could be. Uh, like a thank you page typically. So you might create a new page that is called thank you and says, you know, thanks for your inquiry. And maybe it's got some nice pictures or it's got a special offer or a graphic or something like that on it. And the other option is a redirect. And so this could be, you know, send people off to your Facebook page or some other place. Now you've got to be careful that you redirect people to somewhere that makes sense for them to arrive because if you for example redirected someone from your inquiry form to your Facebook page they would probably wonder if they would even filled in the form and maybe go back and resubmit it again so you've got to be sensible about what you do but they're your three options either the text which shows up on the page or a new page that they get sent to usually a thank you page or a redirect now once we're happy with our confirmation, we simply press save confirmation and we're done. And that's all of our settings for a form. So next we're gonna look at how we put it into a page.